Hey there, changemakers. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kira Siva. I am a spiritual mentor and healer. And today we are going to be giving you a healing message that you need to hear. So take a deep breath and connect with your intuition. This is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pile number one pile number two and pile number three. And before we jump into the piles, I wanted to share two things. One, I did a channeled healing message for you on the day of the full moon for this specific pile. So you're gonna get an extra bonus with that today. And I did wanna let you know that I have opened up personal readings. The link is in the description. So if you wanna go deeper into a healing message that's really tailored fit to you, I have shorter readings or we can do a really big deep dive and it's just there to really help you all. I've been getting requests for them. So if you're interested in that, just know it's in the link in the description and I will never reach out to you. So you can find it in the link and hopefully I'll get to do a personal reading for you. Okay, well, let's go ahead and jump okay. into pile, pile number one. So I'm going to read your healing message. If you skip the intro, I channeled healing messages during the full moon to just really help you with this area that you really need healing with. So here is your healing message. You are enough. You hold enough light. You are kind enough, sweet enough, lovely enough. Look into the mirror today and repeat, I am enough until you feel it in all parts of your body and your being. I love this. Um, I know that we often hear it when we start looking into spiritual topics, but I think it's such a good reminder because you as a person go through so much. You are exposed to so many difficult things, whether on social media or in the workplace or the life challenges. And it is such a big deal to break out of feeling unworthy and feeling like you aren't enough. So I hope that you replay that as many times as you need and just remember that as you are right now, all of your beautiful pieces, all of your ugly pieces, you are enough, you are loved, and we're gonna go ahead and dive into the rest of your reading. So I really feel like the entirety of this reading is revolving around the end of a tough cycle. I think this fits perfectly with the I am enough message because what it says is that you have been battling with self-esteem issues and the unworthiness, and we all have this, right? Like you're not alone in this. We all have to go through this. And your spirit team, your spirit, your soul really wants you to understand. It feels like the depths of your heart wants you to understand how deeply you are loved and how much this desire to experience your enoughness is coming about. Now, this unworthiness that you're carrying, it feels like it's like really deep, deep, deep in your heart. So even if you consciously feel like, hey, no, I feel like I'm enough, I would invite you just to go deeper. And if this doesn't resonate with you, maybe pick a different pile because this one is definitely about experiencing the depth of how perfect you already are and you don't have to be perfect by society standards you are inherently perfect so what do you need to release what do you need to let go of and what spirit's really telling me is that you need to let go of this story that you aren't enough that you're not smart enough and pretty enough and you know you aren't beautiful enough and you aren't clever enough and you aren't loud enough and you aren't strong enough. Those are all these stories that we take on really to just survive and navigate our social lives. And Spirit's telling me that you are fully and completely enough and you need to honor that. And sometimes when you go to honor that, you can go into meditation and really use visualization to help you go into a nice quiet space and 
um, you know, you can imagine walking in through a door or going into a cave and seeing that little version of you that's scared huddled over in the corner and go and wrap your arms around them and hug them and kiss them and love them and tell them that they are enough, right? And you can do this with any part of you. So some people feel like they're battling demons. Go inside your room, go inside the cave and in your mind's eye and love the ugly demons, love these broken and shattered part of yourselves because ultimately you loving that piece of you is healing, it is going to allow you to recognize that these parts of you that you have shunned away are still worthy. All of you is worthy. I can see over here in the Knight of Swords that also like <laughs> this transformation for you is like lightning bolt. Like you go and do this today, you're getting results today. This Knight of Swords is just like charging forth. So especially with it being a full moon and our moonology card, Spirit is just like, look, you got this. You're going to experience this enoughness today. And as you continuously give this recognition to yourself, things in your exterior life are going to play out a lot easier because the unworthiness is holding you back from receiving some really, really big things. It may be showing up in your life right now as a lack of money, as not feeling um, not only financially stable, but maybe materially unstable. Like you're like, I don't know if I could do this or that. I don't know, you know. I don't know how things are going to work materially for me. And really, as you experience this enoughness, you're going to unlock this part of your character that is playful and light and bright. And that is going to allow the abundance because you have a bucket load of abundance that is on its way to you. So go in and do, you know, your 15, 30 minutes worth of inner work because you have a load of money, a load of material wealth in all of its different forms coming into you, into your life. One of the really um, interesting things, I always look a lot at colors. So on like this side, we have sort of these darker colors this more like introspective, darker part. And then over here we have like this pop of light. And also just notice this, both of their hands are reaching up. So it's like, as you do a part of this shadow work, inner child, like just loving the depths of who you are, you will actually unlock more of this bright light, like, radiant reaching up energy. I love that both of these have this kind of, you know, reaching for the stars element. Like you were meant for something so much bigger, so, so, so much bigger in your life. And as you heal these little parts of you, because again, this isn't like, you know, you're not going to be doing this healing journey for months. You've done it. You have done such an amazing job your spirit team is just like a little bit more just just a couple hugs here and there like some positive words as you navigate this stuff to allow this fully embodied self to come out she's playful she's vibrant she's like laughing she's ready to go out into the world and be seen we've got star sparkles everywhere like that whenever I see a lot of stars, that always tells me that your soul is shining, is radiantly shining. Like you are bringing the magic to the world. So bring it, like you got this, you've got it. And I can definitely tell that you have done a lot of work to be able to even bring it, right? So this is amazing. This is so amazing. So I just wanna say, yeah, like you have done such a good job with your healing. You are a thousand percent enough. And as you tell yourself that into the deepest core parts of who you are, 
you hug that little version of you, you hug your demons and your monsters, you hug the parts that you have hidden in shame, and you remind every single piece of you, every little crack and crevice, every single cell that you are enough, you're gonna just pop off and radiate. Like you will have magnetic star power because that is your true nature. And that's amazing. That's so amazing. It's so cool. And so this isn't gonna take me very long. Just remember, you just need a little bit of work, which is really neat, right? Like, good job on having come so far that you just need a little bit of extra love to give to yourself. All right, pile number one. This is the reading I have for you. If you like this, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and like. And if you would like personalized reading to help you on your very specific personal journey of healing, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one readings. So you can find that in the link in the description below. Okay, pile number one. Until next time, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Pile number two. Okay, if you skip the intro, I um, channeled a healing message for you during the full moon when I'm recording this. And so here it is. So I'm going to tell you the healing message and then we're going to dive into your cards. So when I was channeling this, the very first image that was given to me was an ocean, a vast ocean. And here it is. You are an ocean, deep and mysterious, life-giving and fierce. Honor the flow within and dive deep into your mysteries. There is much for you to discover as you dive deep inside. A new beginning awaits as you allow your innate wisdom to come to the surface of your mind and your life. You are a teacher. Shake, oh, share your findings with others. Ah, I love the, okay. I love doing tarot readings. This is so cool. All right, let's jump into this. You are an ocean. So, I didn't look at these cards before um, I started doing the reading. So when I took the thumbnail picture, I was like giggling because I turned this over and it's blue, like the ocean. You have you have the ocean message. What the heck? Um, so, and look at there's water over here. Oh, and there's a cosmic egg. I am so excited for you. I can barely contain myself. Okay, you, my dear my lovely, lovely human are the ocean. So this is spirit's invitation for you to dive deep into yourself because deep inside is where your answers are at. And I can tell over here that you've been doing this. So this is a confirmation message. Like this is your soul telling you that you are on point. You are doing exactly what you need to be doing. And as you dive deep into yourself, into your being, this is going to pay off for you. You are going to experience a very big new beginning. As a teacher, like we can only teach people as far as we have taken ourselves. There is so much insight that happens during deep dive introspections and during literally just sitting in the silence or going into meditation and allowing your visualizations to take you where they want to go. And also just the practice of allowing your intuition to flow into your life. So, Everything that you do in order to reach these places and the insights you gain as you reach these places, you need to bring out into the world because teaching integrates the lessons at a deeper level. You will continue to get payoff, additional payoffs from the insights you've gained as you teach people. So the ability to explain um, really cosmic and really ethereal things that people are experiencing 
is a huge gift. We need people that model this for other people because it ultimately awakens and creates other leaders and teachers. It helps unlock the guru inside of others. So, oops, ooh, I got too excited. So have you noticed that we have like these nice, dark, deep cards, we have some decisions, and then we just have sunlight. <laughs> it's like a pop of sunshine. So inside, you are going to experience the truth of who you are, the experience of your soul, the experience of how enormous your soul is, the experience of the life that is beyond this physical body and beyond our cultural constructs that we live in. This is the kind of cosmic wisdom and the kind of spiritual experiences, we call them peak spiritual experiences, that people crave. That's, they spend they spend lifetimes, they spend so many years trying to meditate and um, do this deep personal work. like. People want to experience life beyond being in a physical body. So you may be astral projecting, you may be getting your soul actually out of your body and remembering it because we all take time out of our bodies because your bodies are little. It's tough being a human all the time. Um, you're going to understand cosmic intelligence. You're going to get those peak experiences, which is absolute healing. Some of the most profound experiences I've ever had in my life came with the enormous scope of experiencing divine love to the point where I was like, I, I didn't even know I was like craving love in certain ways. That level of love and then the ability to really recognize the truth of creation is massively healing. I think a lot of the underlying stress and frustration and heartbreak and just this like, why is life so hard is literally just because we're like, hey, I am stuck in this tiny little human and I'm stuck in this tiny little human life and it's frustrating and I like I, I need to get out and experience the expansiveness of who I am. So you are going to actually get that experience. That's your healing experience. You are on this, like this is what you're getting. That is freaking amazing. And it's really important for you to let things flow. Don't force it. Don't sit here after this reading and be like, when am I going to get it? When am I going to get it? How, like, do I need to meditate? I need to meditate, you know, 13 times today, blah, 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 blah. Stop. Like, you need to just breathe, relax, imagine that you are on, like, a blow up raft and you're floating down the river and, you know, like, you are going to your destination. You're going to go see the beautiful waterfall. You're going to go see the beautiful lake. Like you're floating out into the ocean and it's cool. It's cool. Like there's no, the trigger point is relaxation. If you want to get to the experience faster, you need to relax and detach and allow life to show you what your next dance move is, right? Like everything is about fluid movement, gentle flow, being present, allowing things to unfold as they will. All of that is a part of this process. You know, it's, <laughs> we like to put our effort into growing ourselves spiritually and it's absolutely worth it and it's good to be disciplined and to have goals and there is definitely a time when your soul is only going to grow as fast as it's going to grow it's only going to do the thing as fast as it is choosing to do the thing so this is really just about like cool I am a surfer on the waves of the ocean I am riding cosmic energy and I'm just going to allow it to unfold I know the big wave is coming. I know this 
you know, experience will be here and I'm going to just enjoy the waves that I have, enjoy the beauty of the ocean while I'm sitting next to it. Like, I'm just going to enjoy the process of this. And that will be very, very healing. It's also very healing on your nervous system. Very healing on your nervous system. So, um, pile number two, I am like, I'm thrilled. I am thrilled that this is your healing message. What a freaking, you're so cool. What a cool experience. People spend lifetimes wanting this. And pr you probably are too. I absolutely have this too. So pile number two, very excited for you. And just know that when you do experience that part, that the big soul part of you and like you get, you get it, your life will change in such a beautiful way. It's such a huge perspective shift and it is, it is just, oh, it's a treat. I'm so excited for you. Okay, pile number two, this is what I see for you. If you like this reading, please give it a like and a thumbs up. And if you want to dive deeper into your spiritual life and path, I do have a deep dive reading um, for a tarot reading up on my link, which is in the description, and we can dive really deep into yourself, your path, and all of the goodness. So I'm so excited for you. If you want that, the link is in the description. And until next time, pile number two. I don't need to tell you this, but I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, because I know you already are going to. Pile <laughs> number three. Okay, if you skip the intro, I channeled a healing message for you on the full moon of around the time when I was recording this. So pile number three, we're going to read your personal healing message and then we will dive into the cards. All right. So when I started to channel the, the picture that was given to me was a jaguar in the jungle. And I was like seeing the side of the jaguar and the black spots were really pronounced. So here is your message. Spend time in nature, listening to the sounds of the birds and the wind. Angels are surrounding you, helping you to rebalance and heal. Call on your guardian angels. They are offering additional assistance and need your permission before they can help. Writing down your opinions, thoughts, fears, hopes, and dreams will help you find the path forward. Don't give up hope yet. In the last pile, I had this very exact experience where it's, you know, I don't look at these cards. I wrote this channel, the message a day before I pulled these cards and it fits so well, helping you rebalance. So pile number three, you have transformed. You have transformed and now you are figuring out how to rebalance all of the different parts of your life and yourself and your home and your work and your spiritual life and your jobs and your, you know, your family and your personal time. Like you are um, really having to learn this. So it's a big job. If you are a mom or a dad or a parent at all, you will deeply understand how challenging it is to balance your personal needs with another human <laughs> when you are caring for another tiny human. It is such a big deal. So your spirit, like your spirit team, specifically your guardian angels, really want you to know that you're doing really good. Like the ability to do this is already quite a challenge and you are actually figuring this out and you're not giving yourself enough credit for how much you have rebalanced. Going out into nature is really going to help you experience this. So when we go into nature, the nature itself already organically balances all of your five elements. So if you were to look at yourself as earth, fire, water, air, and ether space, for an example, 
your body has to exist somewhere. It has space. So there's the space element. The um, fire is like your digestive system. The air are your thoughts and the breath in your lungs. The water is your blood and also your hormones. The um, earth is the very physical, you know, like your skin, your muscle, your bone. So when you go into a natural spot, you go into a beautiful meadow, a park, um, your favorite hiking place, your favorite camping place, next to the water, you are going into a place where the intelligence of nature has already gotten the correct ratios and now you're putting your five elements in the form of your body into that space. When people get really sick, oftentimes when they go spend, and there's so many, so many stories of this, when people go spend time out in nature, they get better. I know when I go through, <laughs> I know when I go through big things, I spend time in nature, I do that anyways, just because I'm a spiritual mentor and healer and that takes a lot of balancing. Um, when you bring your five elements and you put it into environment that's already balanced, guess what happens to your beautiful body and your mind and your heart and your soul energy? It rebalances. You have the support of mother nature. She's like, hey kiddio, I'm going to hold you and help you find this equilibrium again. And your body absolutely wants to do that. Your emotions, your mind, everything. It's so healing. So I can see you as you go out into nature, you are finding this. This is what's coming for you. It also shows me over here that you are really having to learn how to balance your feelings. You have really big feelings. You've transformation can just kick your butt, right? So as you go out, you are rebalancing your heart. The color of this, while it's blue, it's really teal. And I don't know if that's fully showing it. I think so. That to me is like the emerald color of your heart chakra. So you are learning how to really balance your emotions and balance your heart space. Maybe you have been taking on a lot more responsibilities and you're like, okay, so now that I have this extra responsibility, how do I manage my energy? How do I, you know, dance like this beautiful person, like who's having just a great time balancing all of these to do's. You're also going to find that your confidence is something as you go out into nature and as you recognize all of the little and big ways that you are doing your rebalancing correctly, you're going to get a lot of inspiration and feel really confident. That's how you know that it's working, right? So that's part of your healing is you are going to come out of this way more confident, feeling capable, feeling inspired. And this is where your guardian angels are pointing at right now. Like they're going to help you find the right natural setting that you need to go to. Some people need to be closer to water. Some people need to be closer to mountains. Some people need the plains. Some people need the forest. Some people need the ocean side. Like your guardian angels are showing you through giving you visions, through popping up, you know, like friends asking you to go to a certain place or like you stumble across a place as you're driving and you're like, I want to go to that open space. Um, it's going to come up for you. So that's one thing they're telling you is that they want you to listen to those directions because you need to go into the right kind of nature that you need that your physical body, that your five elements needs to connect with. And pay attention. Ooh. They're telling me you need to pay attention to the kind of nature that makes you feel vibrant. Like when you go, you're like, ooh, I love this. Maybe you need big sky, right? Like you need to find and honor that and then look at the elements that are helping you balance. Like, do you need to be next to really big craggly rocks 
or do you need to be next to a pond or see a meadow of flowers? Pay attention. They said that they are going to show you wisdom about some of the life questions that you have had when you are out in nature. So they are going to give you specific answers to your very specific questions that you have been asking for, but you have to go out into the nature so they can show you a reflection of that in the nature and it will click for you. That is wild. That has absolutely happened to me, but I just, that is really cool. And they need you to reflect on that. They need you to reflect when you're out there, ask those really big questions because I, want, I, I don't know, but I wonder if it has something to do with you are asking for like specific inspiration or you have been asking for very specific um, things from your guardian angels. So they are going to give that to you. <laughs> this reading is so unexpected and wild. So um, just remember, give your guardian angels permission, pay attention when they tell you which natural setting to go to, pay attention to the five elements in that natural setting and ask the question you've been asking again and again and again forever because they are going to show you the answer and they will show you it in nature. So you need to be present. Don't be on your phone, don't be a, have music in, be fully present. They're going to take care of you. Cool. Wow. Okay. Pile number three. What an unexpected reading. Um, if you like this reading, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I have opened up personalized readings. So if you want to dive deeper into your journey or ask a question, I have three options that you can sign up for and get booked for a personal reading. And until next time, pile number three, have a great time in nature. I feel like this is my pile. I'm gonna go out to nature after this. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day.